up guys and welcome back to another Tech video. Robot vacuum is there a little bit of a gimmick, right? I mean, they've got a small battery life that constantly needs to be recharged. They have a small compartment that always needs to be emptied and, and cleaned out. And how well do they clean in the first place? So I'm a little bit surprised that I'm reviewing a robot vacuum today, but this one's a little bit different because as well as it being a vacuum, it's also a mop. And after it's done cleaning the floors, it will then go on to clean itself. You'll see. So this is the Roborock S7 Max Ultra, and it is an all-in-one cleaning robot, and I mean all-in-one. It's got this large docking station here, which we'll touch upon. Now, the actual robot is a nice, sleek, white disc, essentially, with a bunch of different sensors, including LiDAR, to help it navigate around areas. Now, you've got this rotating brush to help reach the edges, and then just below that, you have the main intake. Below that, you've got this reusable mop pad, which can be washed. Now, the mop uses this vibrating feature to help get rid of any uh, liquids. Um, and actually, it also has a feature where it raises itself when it detects carpet, and you can see it do that here, which is a really cool feature. Now, this robot mop is actually really smart because not only does it fill itself up with clean water from its docking station, it also empties everything out at the end um, of its cycle. So on the docking station, you have these three containers. The first is a dirty water container. Uh, you just pick it up and you can just, it's got quite a large volume, so you can just empty out all the water. You don't have to do that every single time. Next to it is the clean water station where you fill it up with clean water. You can actually also connect it to the main pipes of the house so you don't have to keep refilling it. And right beside that you have the dustbin collector. So when you get started, the first thing you need to do is map your house. So you just turn it on and basically it will go around your house, go to all the edges and everything, and it will basically help create this, this floor plan of your entire space um, and where you can set like no-go zones or you can set certain furniture so the robot knows kind of uh, what's around it and where not to where not to hit. And the great thing about the app is actually you can see the robot in real time. So as you can see, you can actually see the path that the robot is taking, which helps you keep track of, of its cleaning. Now in terms of maneuverability, I'm actually very, very surprised. You can see it, it tries to go into all the crevices and corners. It reaches everywhere, it goes right up to the edge and that sweeping brush helps bring all the dust from those edges. One downside, well not the one downside, but one of the downsides is it can't, it leaves a couple of inches from the corners. And that's just because of the shape of a circle. Another weird thing is that actually, if depending on the object, if it's light enough and you've not set it as a no-go zone, um, it will, sometimes it'll just push it. But as you can see, majority of the cases, it knows exactly where it is. It doesn't hit into things. I mean, just look at it go around every single like leg of that chair so meticulously to clean it. It's low enough to go under most types of furniture. As you can see, it can go over underneath this couch. Um, in terms of its actual cleaning capability, um, I've done a bit too much too much breadcrumbs here, but basically, as you can see, it, it, it's a little bit daunting because you think it's left some of the dirt, but you just have to trust that it's going to come back and clean it. And then if you actually put your hand on it, you'll see that there's, there's nothing there. Same things with liquids, probably giving a bit too much here, but it does a really good job. It is a little bit left, but you just have to trust that it's going to come back and clean it and finish the job. That's just something that I had to kind of learn. It can recognize when it's on carpet and it will increase the power when it's on it. You can hear it actually reduce its power when, when it leaves the carpet. Going to wash the mop. Another really cool thing is that every now and again, um, when its mop pads gets too dirty, instead of it just trailing you know, dirty mop pads everywhere, it will actually go back to the base and it will clean itself. For the sake of this video, I had to kind of manually make it do that. So it'll find the docking station by itself and it'll start cleaning. Starting to wash the mop. And then it'll start making these, these gurgling sounds as it washes the mop pads. Not only does it clean its own mop pads, but actually it also has a self-drying feature. At the end of a clean, it'll actually go back to the base and empty itself out to vacuum all of its contents into the main dustbin collector. This part is actually really loud, so probably not a good idea to place this near a bedroom or anything like that. Now I want to go back to the app because it's actually one of one of the great things about this, this Roborock vacuum. It's got so many features on it that you can set so many different settings. As you can see, you can change the intensity of the, the mop and the way it will mop. 
um, and you can same thing for the vacuum, the intensity and, and, and the route you want it to take. Um, another really cool feature is that actually it will show you the expected lifespans of all the different parts of the robot, uh, of the robot vacuum, and you know, so you know when to replace it. It's actually quite smart as well, so you can connect it to a bunch of different uh, assistants, so for example, Amazon Alexa, but I will admit that the voice commands are a bit hit and miss. Start cleaning. I don't know how to set vacuum to that setting. Alexa, turn on vacuum. Okay. Also, you can't really tell it exactly where to clean and what to clean. The most I could do is just to get it to start cleaning. And I think if you do that, it automatically just clean the whole house. So it's not the most useful feature. Now, if you have really bad trust issues, you can actually control this um, for yourself. It has a remote control feature. It's probably easier just to use a cordless vacuum at this point. I'm not sure why anyone would want to do it, but it's there. It's there. It's an option, basically. Anyway, guys, I, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Uh, I really enjoyed making it. It was uh, really insightful for me. I've never reviewed a product like this. I, I've honestly, it's changed my perspective on, on these kind of like robot vacuums or autonomous kind of cleaning devices. I think the technology has developed so much and now that it's become kind of like an all-in-one station, that's when it becomes worth it. Otherwise, I, I don't think it's worth just getting like a, a single robot vacuum where you have to empty it out and things like that. So um, yeah, no, I'm really happy with it. Uh, if you want to check it out, you can, you can find it on Amazon. Otherwise, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next TKT video.